Hello viewers, welcome back. Let's continue to pursue the free energy. And this time I'm going to present you the William and Robert Lawson permanent magnet motor. This one is so hard that I spent I think five hours uh, on uh, how to design it. And in the end I'm satisfied with the result, but you will see. Uh, this image over here represents it and uh, I'll try to describe very shortly how it's supposed to work. So let's get immediately to the drawings and see what's the idea. Alright, so let me turn this around that you see this very unusual shape of the stator and shape of the rotor uh, in this magnetic motor. So as you can see from the first side it has uh, some, one unusual component and this is the pump. This component over here and this over here with this mechanism over here it's a pump which will help us and which will do the trick of, um, of making this uh, permanent magnet motor to work and what is the what is the idea so if I turn this around you will see that this is the, the mechanism which control the pumping of the oil and this is the timing mechanism over here so, so you can see this is really the timing mechanism which will allow to pump through these uh, uh, pipes to send the oil to this pump yeah, in a specific time interval. And that's the purpose of this pump, yeah, which is mounted through this mechanism um, and, and this on this shaft that it can go in and out and that you can actually, you can, with that you will control this magnet over here, it can uh, turn 45 degrees uh, it can be straight or it can be in this position. This is the final position yeah, right now. And about the rotor, so, so this is basically all the stator, including including these four magnets. Uh, so this one, two, three, and the, on the other side is four. So these four magnets are all the stator, but they look like they are on, they're on the rotor, but this rotor must consist of two, two tubes of which one is spinning, yeah. So it was hard to uh, to design that. But basically, this this is the stator, the stator, and this is the rotor. It's everything outside. So this is the housing of the rotor, and on, and on the rotor there are these unusually shaped magnets. Not uh, with not you can see now. Yeah? From this point, you can see that these magnets are really uneven. Place it in the circle of the rotor. Yeah? So and this is in the whole circle and um, yeah it does have sense that this might even work because of uh, this uneven placement of magnets and with this magnet which will uh, which will rotate 45 degrees uh, in out will actually help to some kind of disbalance this field together with this stator magnets over here and um, make this uh, very strange generator to spin. I cannot say many much more about that. You can see design is really uh, really awesome if you ask me. Uh, and um, if you want to read more and find out more in detail how this really works and how this uh, uh, what is the uh, idea, you please read the, the original patent which I will post the link in description like for any other video. But for now I can only say this, yeah, so, so this pump mechanism through this uh, timing mechanism over here should help to disbalance the magnetic field in the center of the rotor, yeah, with this, uh, these magnets which are on the rotor and in this way help this magnetic motor to work and to spin indefinitely. So this is it. Okay, so that was William and Robert Lawson permanent magnet motor. Very unusual design of the rotor and of the mechanism on the stator which actually disbalances this magnetic field. This, this is how I uh, understand it, but maybe it's better that you study it a little bit more in the description of the patent and you will see what's the, what's the idea because it's so many points and so many uh, ways to describe this that I was terrified and I wanted to quit with my design after a while but I said okay you must do it so I did it so until next video please stay tuned on my channel so bye bye